starts now. Hello and thank you so much for being here with us. I'm Katie Houston. And I'm Damon Maloney. Families and schools have been facing issues with children being distracted by cell phones while in class. We have told you about this. In fact, it was earlier this week that state representatives were looking to ban phones and computers from classrooms with only a few exceptions. But yesterday, senators passed their own version, giving much more control to local schools. We're not going to go back to the drawing board when lots of school districts already have policies on, on cell phones. So our Columbus Bureau reporter Morgan Trow is breaking down how this could impact your family. Whether you're texting, posting, or listening to music. Being a parent in the age of smartphones is, my mom would say, is harder than she had it. Natalie Hastings believes boundaries with technology are important, like her kids asking not to have photos of them online. But there's struggles when it comes to school. There were some bullying in the restrooms and people were taking video. And so there is now a policy in place at the building level where kids can bring their phone to school and they power them off, put them in their backpacks, and they're off for the day. Schools around Ohio have started cracking down on phone usage and state lawmakers are joining in. The idea of eliminating use of smartphones during the school day is a great idea. Senate President Matt Huffman and his members just passed House Bill 250, legislation they added a provision to to require each public school district to create a cell phone policy, emphasizing that phone use should be limited as much as possible during the school day. Hastings is mainly supportive. I personally even uh, would advocate that every you know building principal is the one who can make the best decision for their specific kids. She's worried about a competing version, House Bill 485. It would ban personal devices like cell phones, computers, headphones, and smartwatches unless a teacher allows it or a student has a learning disability. But it isn't clear if House Speaker Jason Stevens is on board with the Senate. Well, there were some questions in our caucus on what the details were on the cell phone uh, language and we had uh, several members who wanted to read those languages. So, Hastings says uh, we should start small before major mandates. It's a level of distraction that you know, we are still figuring out in real time. The Senate's version goes back to the House for a concurrence vote. At the Ohio State House, I'm Morgan Trow reporting. Several schools have already taken action to ban phones or social media to varying degrees, including Akron Public Schools. We told you when they first started testing yonder bags in the spring of last year, requiring students to lock their smartphones away during school hours. After the pilot program, the district surveyed teachers and parents. Among teachers, more than 60 percent strongly agreed that locking up phones made students more productive. More than half strongly agreed the program reduced student distractions. And for parents surveyed, more than three quarters believe there are negative consequences to phone use in schools. About a third strongly agreed and another third agreed that students spend too much time on their phones. The survey results led the district to expand the use of yonder bags from three schools to 13 for the current school year. When we checked back in last month, the district said having the yonder bags in middle and high school had been, quote, a very good thing. 